Hi, I'm The Rap Critic, and this video was a Patreon request by Eugene Butler. And if you'd like to also request a video for me to review, go here for more details. So, oh my god, I gotta tell you guys about the coolest thing I just saw. It's got the Joker in it, right? And, well, he doesn't really do that much, but the main idea is that it's a meetup of unlikely allies for what ends up being an explosive, energetic, unexplainably awesome product that I'd check out a million times if I could. And stop playing the Suicide Squad trailer, because that movie sucked ass. I'm talking about the song from the soundtrack by Rick Ross and Skrillex called Purple Lamborghini. Biggest boss and I've been in Trillis. I'm a bigger problem when I click with Skrillex. And, oh my god, truer words were never spoken. At least not by Rick Ross, anyway. He seems to have a compulsive thing about not telling the truth. But screw all that, I'm trying to get hyped, because this song is awesome. Murder on my mind, it's time to pray to God. My revolver's not religious, the revolution's born. I, 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 I'm trying not to be picky, because I really like this song, but come on, guys. Skrillex is all about the bass drop. And to shove as many syllables in there so that they end up spilling over the drop, it makes it sound rushed and less impactful. You wanna know my name, go and tell us all. You wanna know my game, Suicide Squad. But thank God we finally have a soundtrack song that actively is relating itself to the movie. Remember soundtrack songs that used to be definitive to the film? Like Grease or, or the Men in Black song by Will Smith. Or, oh, you know which one is my favorite rap song about a DC Comics franchise? The Riddler by Method Man. Have you ever seen that video? Oh my god, the music is creepy and sinister and even includes the little old school Batman TV show theme in it. And the tone is matched by Method Man's signature smoky vocals and slick rhyme patterns. Cross words puzzling your doubt, questioning your own mental health, yeah. It's like a maze within itself, yeah. Illusion, mass confusion, question mark, conclusion. What, where, why, who's it? Quit, time to ask yourself who it is. Okay, so that's my favorite Batman villain related music video. So how does this one stack up? Pistol on my waist, I might make a mistake. Headshot, headshot, oh my god, am I crazy? Okay, I like how you at least brought up Deadshot's name, but that doesn't really feel related to the movie. And shooting someone in the head? Is that the craziest thing a gangster's ever done? Kill a prop, can you kidnap you to cut out your kidney? Okay, that, that's a little crazier. Ain't no mercy, got that purple Lamborghini lurking. Rose, so she know that pussy worth it. Huh? Wh what pussy's worth it? Which, are you referring to yourself? Uh, are you calling yourself a pussy and saying that you're worth it? He hasn't mentioned a woman at any point prior to this lyric, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be connecting this worthwhile pussy to. M maybe he's like taking on the persona of the Joker, and he's gonna break Harley out of jail, and he's saying, Oh man, that, that girl's pussy is worth it. I I'm really trying. They still selling dope, that's those Miami boys. Okay, that's not even related to the Suicide Squad movie. This is just about you. The Suicide Squad doesn't sell drugs. This is just like that other music video for a Will Smith-led film based on a comic book franchise with a rapper from Florida who completely missed the point of the movie just to brag about themselves. Miami Eagles, black mass, black it's weird how that's happened twice so specifically. Man, I'm really trying to enjoy this, but they keep doing things that detract from the coolness of the song. Hell, I bet next I'm gonna find out the purple car in the video is not actually a Lamborghini. It's not? Damn it. You know, I said I like this song, but it feels like at every turn I can't. God, just do something to help me get over these lyrical and visual deficiencies. Forgive me for my wrongs, I have just begun. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. All my complaints go right out the window when that chorus drop hits. Everything works perfectly here. It's so strong and full of fire. From Rick Ross's last lyrics said with such anger and vigor, to Skrillex's thumping rhythms, to how they incorporate Rick Ross's signature grunts into the beat. It's just fantastic. But then Rick Ross has to come back. Don't be begging for your life cause that's a lost cause. High stakes body armor suicide boy. Rhyming cause with boy. Killers on the corner, talents in the clip. Build a palace out in Paris just to fill with bitches. Rhyming clip with bitches. Kicking in the door for the suicide squad. Needle in my arm so I'm do or die for. What? Suicide Squad doesn't put needles in their arms? They're injected with that weird gun thing that puts the bombs in their necks. Well, I guess it's literally do or die for them, but it's not because they're supposed to be best friends down to ride for each other. It's because they literally don't have a choice. Because someone put freaking bombs in their necks. Whatever, just hit the chorus again. Man, I really wanted to like this more, but 
damn it, due to Rick Ross just not throwing himself into either the character or the music more, he just doesn't do Skrillex's beat justice. I mean, there are key points where you could just forget about the theme of Suicide Squad and just make it about being evil or whatnot, but it doesn't get guttural enough for me to really throw myself into Rick Ross's energy. But when I do want to fall back on possible references to the film itself, it doesn't work there either because it feels like the man doesn't really know what the hell Suicide Squad is, so it falls apart on both sides. However, Skrillex's beat work is top notch, and definitely props Ross up and makes his rhymes easier to tolerate. This year's turned down for what this ain't, but I give it a 3 out of 5 for effort. Well, I'm the rap critic. You don't have to like my opinion, but I really wanted to like your song.